I live in Brooklyn, New York. In a houseboat. I'm given a place to access and, and trees to tie up to. But there is no electricity or water or anything like that. I wanted to be off-grid and I knew that if I started out in a place with electricity I wouldn't it would take me a lot longer like I knew I needed to be challenged and which totally worked because I had this deadline like it started getting cold we were living by candles we had a didn't really have any heat at the time and so it was like you know there was like a deadline like it's getting cold we're getting uncomfortable we have to get this done And I like that it's a lot simpler here and a lot of things are manual, like there's a lot more um, human power. Sometimes it feels like it could be a full-time job in itself. The boat was free, um, or it was a dollar, but it really is all sweat equity. Like, I think it, you could have a full-time job, you know, to, like, buy all those things, or you could put all your energy into, like, instead of paying the heating bill, like, I'm going to chop wood. In winter time, I was heating tea kettles on the wood stove, and usually by the time the tea kettle was warm, this room was also warm enough that I could throw the tea kettle in there, run, take a shower, which is in like the freezing part of the boat, and then run back in here and dry off by the wood stove. I have a very different comfort level than the average American, and most people are not willing to shit in a pile of sawdust and compost it or take, you know, a one gallon shower in a cold boat. I grew up outside of the city and I never wanted to live here because I grew up in like upper middle class suburbs and everybody who I knew who was associated with the city was like living the like working really hard to just stay afloat type thing and I never wanted anything to do with that and then left the area that I grew up, got connected with a different community that lived a different way and approached the city again 
through their experiences and their eyes and their input. And so I think there's tons of ways of doing it. You just have to be creative. I love this because I'm right in the middle of it. I feel like I'm near, um, you know, a short bike ride across a bridge to Manhattan, near two major subway lines, um, you know, within easy access of work and friends and kind of the social scene that I'm involved in. Um, so yeah, this is pretty, pretty ideal spot for that reason. This is definitely not something I could have ever done alone. You know, it's not like another project where, oh, if I don't feel like practicing my trombone today, then I don't need to worry about it because I'll practice tomorrow. It's like, if the rope is frayed, you need to fix it because tomorrow you could be floating to Mexico. One of my good buddies in Arizona, I remember when I first met him, he was studying agriculture and he said, I came to Arizona to study agriculture because if you can grow food in the middle of the desert, you can do it everywhere. And I feel the same way about New York. Like, if you can figure out off-grid or any sort of like simplistic living in New York City, you can do it anywhere. <laughs> 